By the time New Year's comes around, I'm kind of wore out. I have been baking, cooking, entertaining all holiday season. You know Christmas is my favorite time of year, so I'm a little depressed that week after and kind of just go into hiding and hibernation. But if you're gonna throw a New Year's party, and I may or may not, you need some good things to go with it, okay? And this year, it is gonna be kind of a high-low take on a quick and simple microwave caramel corn. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. And a really quick, delicious cocktail. Because you know it's not ringing in a new year if you don't have some bubbles to go along with it. So stick around because we are making a really delicious, quick item that you can either take to a party or have it your own. First, let's just get something out of the way. Let's talk about popcorn. It's a love of my life. Yeah, I know that sounds weird, but it hits all my major food groups in the triangle. Popcorn, then popcorn, then popcorn. Isn't, isn't that, that, that's I think everyone's major food groups, right? I love popcorn. So if you're like me and have a stir crazy, we are best friends. If you're not, use whatever you use to pop the popcorn. Just pop it right up, set it aside. You wanna let it cool off a little bit. Now we're gonna get that delicious caramel sauce ready for on top of the popcorn. Did I mention that this is a caramel popcorn that is made all in the microwave and yet to boot, it has some extra flavor components. Yeah, that's right. This is something that's gonna knock your socks off, but in a good way. To start, just in a large measuring cup, put your brown sugar, butter, light corn syrup, salt, cinnamon, and cayenne pepper. That's right, you heard me right. Cinnamon and cayenne pepper. Some warming spice of the cinnamon and some heat from that cayenne. Yeah, it sounds weird. And I know some of you are gonna say, ah, I don't think so. Yeah, no. You're going to. You're gonna try this because guess what? Once you try it, you're gonna love it. So you might as well make five batches right away. And those five are just for you. Then you better make some for the party because once you start on this, there's no going back. Put that measuring cup right into your microwave and put it on high for three minutes. While that is heating up, you can just prepare your bag and the popcorn. This is gonna sound weird, but you wanna use a paper bag. One, the cleanup is extremely easy. You throw it away. Two, it's a great way to reuse the bags. And paper bags are more environmentally friendly anyway, so you might as well just start asking for them at the grocery store, because you're gonna want them all the time to make this popcorn. This is also gonna sound a little strange, but I spray the inside of my bag with some nonstick baking spray. Yeah, it's gonna discolor the bag, you're gonna see grease spots, but it's also gonna help that popcorn not stick to the sides with that caramel sauce. Spray up that bag, and then pour in that prepared popcorn. <laughs> I know, it's so easy. You're welcome. Once the caramel starts to melt together, bubble up slightly, take it out of the microwave, stir it together, make sure that butter's melted and everything's kind of mixing up because sometimes the sugar gets stuck on the bottom, then put it right back into the microwave. Another minute and a half, it is gonna really bubble vigorously. What you're doing is really getting it up to temperature like you do on the stove, but in the microwave. How easy is that? Once it's at the right temperature from all that cooking in the microwave, pull it right out and put in some vanilla because, well, I love vanilla and it really does flavor this well. And then some baking soda, just like you do when you want something to foam from the stove. Once the caramel sauce is light and foamy from all that baking soda and it's stirred in and there are no lumps of that baking soda in there, just pour it right onto that prepared popcorn in the bag and fold over the bag tightly a few times to make sure it's sealed well. Now, just have a little bit of fun, do a little dance, just shake that bag extremely vigorously. What you're doing is making it really easy on yourself. You're not stirring sticky caramel corn together. You're not getting your hands all gross. You're not dirtying all the spatulas. No, you're shaking it in a paper bag. And I mean shake it and then shake it some more, then turn it and shake it and then shake it a little bit more. Then throw that right back into the microwave for about a minute. Take it out, shake it, shake it, shake it, turn it, put it back in the microwave. One more minute, guess what? Popcorn time! Yeah, I know, it's the best time. At this point, you just wanna pour it out onto two waiting baking sheets that are lined with parchment paper, because it does get sticky. It really only takes a few minutes to cool, and hardly I can usually wait at all and just start eating it right away. You might burn the top of your mouth, but it's worth it. Just spread it out, let it cool. After it cools a little bit, you can just kind of break it up a little bit if you need to, just to make sure it's in smaller pieces, and you're ready to go. But you're not quite ready to go, because we need to make a quick cocktail to go with it. Obviously, champagne is all you need. I love champagne. Champagne's always good. 
but to spice it up, make it more into a cocktail, just a couple quick additions. In a tall champagne flute, I like to put a couple small scoops of raspberry sherbet, just bought from the store, any kind you like, and sherbet's fat-free, so healthy cocktail. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. And then pour on a little bit of some raspberry liqueur. It's just gonna spice things up and wake up all those flavors. And to top it off, you know what comes next, champagne. It's gonna take a while, just pour it on, let it fizz, pour some more on, drink it, fizz, pour, whatever order you want. And you know what? You're gonna be ringing in the new year in a beautiful style and a delicious munchie. I hope you enjoy this as much as I do because seriously, these are some of my favorite items to have. I've had a great year with you and I can't wait for an even better one to come. If you like this video, make sure to click like below, share it around on Facebook and Instagram, and let me know what you're doing for our New Year's. Happy New Year's.